Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue making items that are fun for children for this summer vacation and today I thought we would make a horse and so for this project you'll need one piece of origami paper and we're going to go ahead and start by putting some preliminary folds first uh, horizontally and then vertically. Well, uh, this is folded in half. This is sort of a short way to get to the pinched diamond. We're going to go ahead and fold down this flap to the center line and then turn it over and do the same thing again. And then if you just uh, pinch down here, you then can get the uh, diamond shape here in the middle. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and fold in these side folds to the center. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this top part down. These are just some preliminary creases to help us with the next fold. Open everything up. We're going to go ahead and open here, creating a large diamond shape. like so. We're going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now you should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to bring the folds back down again actually to the way that they were before. Both the front and the back. Bringing us back to that original diamond. Now that we've got this all back folded out again to that preliminary uh, diamond shape, we're going to take some scissors and we're going to cut from the tip here all the way up to this fold crease along the center line. And we want to take care not to full accidentally cut these flaps underneath. So I'm actually just going to cut this part first. And turn it around and do the other side as well. Now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and take these flaps and fold them up. Do that for both here. And then we're going to go ahead and fold these sides then in like so. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So again, we're going to fold up these flaps. And fold them in. We're going to turn it over. We're going to take this part here on the side and we're going to make it into a, a tail. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first go ahead and just put a crease here, like so. And then we're going to fold that inside out so that it sticks out nice here. And you can adjust, you know, the way that this looks if you want to keep it straight, if you want to have it up a little. Mine's up a little bit right now as it is. And then we're going to take this part and we're going to fold this down to create a head. Obviously you don't want your horse to have too big a head. <laughs> so after I fold it down like that, I'm also going to do the same here. I'm going to 
open this part up and pinch it down so I can tuck it underneath. And then I'm going to go ahead and also just kind of round off some of my edges here. I'm going to start off by just rounding off the nose. So I'm going to fold and then tuck that in so that it's not so pointy. I'm going to do the same fold on all four of these legs so that they don't look so pointy either. You can go ahead and try to match it up so that they are folded up about the same. And then in the end, you should get something that looks like this. And I like to kind of call this like a, a fancy horse. It's, uh, you know, kind of appropriate maybe if you're uh, retelling the story of Cinderella and you need a pretty horse to pull the carriage. Um, then this is kind of that kind of a horse. So uh, that is your finished project for today. You can even make it stand up if you want to. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.